2016 will bring a different spin, if you will, to a calendar put out by a tire company. It's a dramatic shift meant to reflect a new view on women. Nude, or rather, gone is the nudity, except for one startling example, rather, except for one example, <laughs> by a woman well known in Hollywood right now. She's really hot. CBS 2's Vanita Nair has the story. Giselle, Cindy, Jennifer, Sophia. For decades, its pages have been a who's who of top models and Hollywood A listers, shot in seductive poses by some of the world's best photographers, and published by a premium tire company, where tires are anything but the focus. Okay, go sit down. Get back. This year, the Pirelli calendar is causing a stir for what it doesn't contain nudity. In a dramatic shift, distinguished women of all ages, sizes, and colors are showcased in a series of black and white photographs taken by photographer Annie Leibovitz. I thought that women, the women should look good and strong, and, and it should be simple. Can you try one? With the glasses cut down. Artist Yoko Ono. Philanthropist Agnes Gunn with her granddaughter, musician Patti Smith, clothed and striking in each image. CBS News contributor and financial titan Melody Hobson is Miss June. Only two women kept with the calendar's typical theme. Tennis star Serena Williams is pictured topless with her muscular back to the camera. And comedian Amy Schumer in her underwear sipping coffee. She had an idea that it could be funny if I was the one who didn't get the memo that there was going to be clothing this year. And I was like, great, let's do it. Nudity. <laughs> the Pirelli calendar is not for sale, by the way. Instead, it is handed out to various VIPs. Now, Pirelli hasn't said what it plans to do for 2017, but given the response so far, this year's calendar looks like the start mm. of maybe a new tradition there.